Hi, this is Jeff at GearReport.com. This is um, a gravity feed water filter system. This particular one, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and turn this on to let the water flow. There we go, that'll get started. This particular one is made with a 1.1 ounce silicon nylon bag. Uh, you can see a little bit of dripping here where I've got to uh, do some sealing a little bit better. When you uh, sew this bag together, the downside of using a rectangular shaped bag is you have to seal your seams and you can see where I uh, did not seal that as well as I could. Uh, at the top we've got four strips of gross grain ribbon that are along the periphery here. Uh, held up with some twisted mason line loops. Uh, the water comes out of the filter bag. You see I left a little bit of a uh, gap down here. This is for, uh, I mean I didn't put the fitting at the very bottom corner. That is so uh, any sediment that drains down to the bottom will get stuck at the bottom and not suck through the filter. I think you could also put a, a little piece of filter uh, screen or some sort of filter media on the inside of that fitting as well. I wonder, can we see down in there well enough? Yeah, so there's a little spot down there where we could put it. Uh, here you see the uh, tubing where it exits the little uh, quarter inch barb fitting and is draining down into uh, down towards the filter. We're getting a little bit of flow here. Uh, I've actually had to prime this system by, by putting my mouth on it and uh, kind of sucking the water through before just to get it started. Once it gets flowing, it tends to do pretty well. And there we're, we're starting to see the flow pick up a little bit. This comes down, you'll see through this tube, all the way to the Sawyer SP121 filter. I recommend that the SP 135. This one will do a bacteria and protozoa, but uh, does not do viruses. The SP-135 does, and now you see the water's flowing quite a bit better now. It exits the filter. You see it has a, a nice little uh, flow uh, indicator there pointing you which direction. It exits the filter, and this little uh, flexible silicon tube I have on the uh, quick connect fitting for the um, Camelback, uh, what is this called, a hydro, uh, I'm going to have to look that one up, I don't recall. Regardless, this fitting allows you, uh, it's a quick connect fitting, so I can turn it off here so it doesn't leak out of my uh, bag, and then disconnect it. You can see how the water is uh, flowing out of the tube here from the filter. Let's reconnect this. And then we'll turn it back on. So now it's uh, flowing directly into the bag. Let's uh, get a quick look at what the bag looks like. As it is filling, you can see the bag is uh, it's, it's filling, definitely. It was completely empty when we started this, so that is uh, gradually filling up. We saw that uh, in, in this captive bag with the different connectors in place, it took a little bit longer than it did with the other bag filtering directly into the container. So a little bit of trade-off there, but uh, you get a lot of convenience in that you just hook it up, go do something else while your uh, buddies are sitting next to you frantically pumping their uh, pump water filters. It's going to do all the work for you where you go off and do something else around camp. So. Again, it's Jeff at GearReport.com. Hope this helps. Uh, please submit any uh, questions or comments that you have. We'll be happy to uh, address those. Uh, thanks for watching.